Hello, and welcome to Inaware's Process Runner Help Series. In this video, we will show Process Runner's Logon Shortcut feature, which is a method to log on to SAP via Process Runner with a predefined configuration set by the user. Let's begin with an MM02 transaction automation script, which has already been recorded. In the Home ribbon, let's select the SAP Shortcuts button in the toolbar, and the Inaware connector for SAP pop-up window will appear. From here, let's go to the Logon Shortcut tab. On the right, we have the option to create, edit, rename, or delete a logon shortcut, as well as the ability to set one as the default logon shortcut. The edit, rename, delete, and set default buttons are grayed out because we have not yet created a logon shortcut. Let's click on create to generate a new logon shortcut. Here, we need to select the SAP system from the destination dropdown menu and enter our user data such as client, SAP username, password, and language. We also have a checkbox to determine whether the password is case sensitive or not in ECC6. After entering our user data, let's test our connection to the server by clicking the test button. If successful, it will prompt us with the success message. Before we save our shortcut, we have the option to set the security settings at the bottom. We can set an expiration date for the shortcut from the dropdown. We can also lock the file so that it can only run on this specific computer. And we have the option to run only when our SAP username matches against our network username. Let's go ahead and click the Save button and give the shortcut a file name. By default, iLogon files are saved in the path iLogon Files and Aware Documents. For security purposes, the iLogon files are automatically encrypted. Let's click Save, and now the logon shortcut is displayed in the logon shortcuts list. If we want to set the logon shortcut as default, then we need to select that logon shortcut and click on Set Default. Now let's go back to Process Runner. In the toolbar of the Home ribbon, let's select the Logon Shortcut checkbox to enable the shortcut from the drop-down menu. Here we will see the multiple shortcuts we have produced, as well as the option to use a default Logon Shortcut. Once the Logon Shortcut is enabled, we can click the Run button. The script will run without asking us to provide SAP credentials. The Logon Shortcut relieves us from entering the login credentials repeatedly. Want to learn more about simplifying SAP with Inaware Technologies? Visit us at inaware.com. Thank you for watching.